In this video we are going to learn quantum numbers, what they represent, how they are linked with each other, and how we can find the maximum number of electrons contained in a given set of quantum numbers. First of all, who are the quantum numbers? The quantum number R, N, the principal quantum number, L, angular momentum quantum number, ML, magnetic quantum number, and MS, spin quantum number. But what they represent? N, the principal quantum number. It represents the number of shells contained in an atom. Let's make a simple scheme. You know that an atom contains a nucleus that is surrounded by electrons. These electrons are contained in shells. And these shells are n, for example, equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3. The n is the principal quantum number that represents the shells of electrons around the atom. The second one is L, the angular momentum quantum number. It designates the shape of atomic orbitals that electrons occupies. L takes values from 0 up to n minus 1. We will see through an example. We have also ML, that is magnetic quantum number. This designates the orientation in space of the atomic orbital that electrons occupies. And the fourth one is MS, or spin quantum number. This takes value from minus 1 over 2 to plus 1 over 2. Let's make a scheme now to see how all these four quantum numbers are linked with each other. For example, N equal to 4. In order to find the maximum number of electrons contained in a shell, it's a simple formula, 2n square. For n equal to 4, it's going to contain 32 electrons. Now let's move to the second one, angular momentum quantum number, L, which starts from 0 up to n minus 1. So in this case, L is going to be 0, 1, 2, and 3. What L equal to 0 represent? L equal to 0 represent S orbitals, which has a spherical shape. Let's move down to the third quantum number, ML. ML is going to be minus L up to 0 up to plus L. In this case, ML is going to be 0 for the S orbital. An S orbital, which is only one orbital, that has a spherical shape, can contain a maximum of two electrons. So, in the box for S, we can place two electrons with opposite spins. And the MS define this one, plus minus one over two. Let's move now to L equal to one. L equal to one represent P, which has a shape like this. Magnetic quantum number, ML, for p orbitals is equal minus 1, 0, plus 1. So, and according to magnetic quantum number, we are going to have px because it designates the orientation in space. We have according to p epsilon and pz. And the maximum number of electrons that P can contain is 6. There is a simple formula to find the subshell number of electrons, that is 4L plus 2. In this case, L is equal to 1, which means that by 1 plus 2 equal to 6 electrons. This is the maximum number of electrons that L equal to 1 can contain, or P orbitals can contain. So let's see how they arrange in space. So Px orbital is going to be along x axis, Py along the y axis, and Pz along the z axis. Let's move now to L equal to 2, which represent d orbitals. d orbitals has an ml number starting from minus L up to 0 up to plus L, so minus 2. 
which means that d orbitals contain five atomic orbitals, which can contain a maximum number of electrons. It's going to be 10 electrons. They can contain a maximum of 10 electrons. We are not going to show the three-dimensional shape of, of d orbitals because they are computer-made based. So if you remember the p orbitals and s orbitals, it's just fine, at least for general chemistry exam. Let's move now to L equal to 3, which are which represent f orbitals, which has an ml equal to. As many numbers are here, as many orbitals or boxes we have to draw below. So we are going to have 7 orbitals. So a total number that f can contain is 14 electrons. So one orbital can contain a maximum two electrons with opposite spins. Let's move now to an example to consolidate more in your mind these quantum numbers. What is the maximum number of electrons in an atom that can have the following set of quantum numbers? Let's start with the first one, n equal to 3, which means that can contain L equal to 0 up to 1, 2, and that's it, because you know that L is equal 0 up to n minus 1. These are the values that the angular momentum quantum number can contain. So in this case, L equal to 1 is contained to the n equal to 3. But we have to know that L equal to 1 represent p orbitals, which itself has an ml number from minus 1, 0, 1, and they can contain a maximum of 6 electrons. So, the maximum number of electrons contained in this set of quantum numbers is 6 electrons. This one's here. Let's move to the second example. n equal to 3. We just write, which means that L is going to be 0, 1, and 2. You know that L equal to 0 represent S orbital, which has an ML number, or magnetic number, uh, 0, which means ML minus 1 is not included to L equal to 0, which means the total number of electrons contained in this set is 0 electrons. It is not possible to place electrons in this set of quantum numbers. Let's move to another one, n equal to 3. Again, L is going to be 0, 1, and 2. L equal to 1 is contained to n equal to 3. So, L equal to 1, you should know by now that it represent p orbitals, which has an ml number, minus 1, 0, 1, which means ml equal to 0 is included to L equal to 1. The set has also ms equal to 1 minus 1 over 2. We know that p orbitals have, we know that p has three atomic orbitals, minus 1, 0, and plus 1. So ml is 0, ms is minus 1 over 2, which means this orbital for ms equal to 0. But this orbital can contain a maximum of two electrons, but ms equal to minus 1 over 2 means that only one electron is contained, because it's minus, we can write it down. One electron is possible on this set of quantum numbers. Let's move now to the last example, n equal to 3. L is going to be 0, 1, 2. Now, for L equal to 0, we have an ML equal to 0, which, which is S orbital, an ML equal to 0, so it does not contain ML minus 1. Let's move now to L equal to 1, which is represented by P orbitals, which has an ML equal to minus 1, 0, and plus 1, which means ML minus 1 is contained. But you know that one atomic orbital can contain a maximum of two electrons. Each atomic, atomic orbital can contain. So minus 1, which means that from the L equal to 1, we have two electrons. But we have also L equal to 2, which means, which represent d orbitals. You should know by now that d orbitals contain an ml number from minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. So they contain 
five atomic orbitals. The, only, the one that is in our interest in this case is ml equal to minus one, this one here, that you know that can contain a maximum of two electrons. So two electrons from L equal to one and two electrons from L equal to two, which means that this set of quantum numbers can contain a maximum of four electrons. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.